So guys, if you're a Redmi Note 8 user, there are a lot of Android 11 base ROMs available right now. And this one is one of those, which is called a POSP. And this is Potato Open Source Project, which is based on Android version 11. The POSP version is 4.0.0. And I've installed it on my Redmi Note 8, which has the September security patch, which is a little bit of old, but this build does not have a lot of things to check out. So we are just going to take a quick look at this view, this build. Let's find Guys, this is just like other Android 11 base rooms, but with a very limited kind of functions and a very limited kind of features. It has almost all Android 11 base features, but still I will say it's not one of the greatest ones out there in the terms of features. I'm not saying it should have, it should get a lot of extra features, some useless features like that, but at least it should get some little bit of basic features. It did, it, it, it does not have even the status bar customizations or it does not include any ASIN colors customization or anything like that. It does not include any single feature. You cannot customize the ASIN colors, gestures, anything like that. So little bit of little bit of disappointment here for me, but everything else is fine here using it from some time. If you talk about the performance scrolling speed, it's great yes honestly it's great so if you want a performance based room if you want a full smooth room it's one of the smoothest ones out there if you're using redmi note 8 it's very very smooth and honestly it's better than all in the terms of smoothness if you, if you compare it with the octavi os if you compare it with the havoc os android 10 or any other room it's the smoothest one but yes it has a lot of features missing so it depends upon your preferences if you want to install this build or not talking about the default launcher yes it has the quick step launcher pre-installed as expected which does not include any extra features and we have these home settings called developer options so if you have an idea what you are doing you can check out these kind of things other things if you talk about the recent panel we have the screenshot option nothing else like that so it does not even include the google apps it does not include the pixel launcher so some little bit of main features are missing from here which is kind of a little bit of disappointing thing in my case i am using here magisk v21.0 which is perfectly fine here and no issues here at all but talking about the safety net status here in my case the safety net status is not passed as expected so there might be i'll get some issues while using banking apps but some guys said that i can hide the magisk to work banking apps so i can hide and maybe my safety net status will be passed but right now the safety net status is not passed so a little bit of difference is here and there too and going for the settings if there's no any settings to show you here like here if you go for the network and internet connections in my case i have not installed a sim card here so that's why i cannot show other things like the volt or wo wi-fi is working fine or not and if you go for the apps and notifications and if you go for the notifications you can customize the notification history which is a very interesting feature but yes it's available in almost all android 11 devices so not a room specific feature going for the battery even it does not include include the battery percentage on the status bar which is very very disappointing thing it should be there at least some little bit of things my honest opinions right now is it's not great in the terms of features it should get at least at least more than stock features it has a full stock kind of things as using a custom room with almost all the stock features is kind of a boring kind of thing we have the adaptive brightness options available here there nothing else to talk about sound storage privacy location security even security does not include the face lock but that is okay okay we have the fingerprint option available which should be present there at least it is here going for the other things the xiaomi parts is also here which has a mini sound enhancer but not including the usb fast charging and some little bit of more things and if you go for the system one yes we have some gesture options available here like this but does not include even does not include this three finger screenshot option yes even does not include the three finger screenshot option it it should be there these are some basic features even almost all custom rooms nowadays has some little bit of basic features even lineage OS also have some status bar customizations even lineage OS 18 which is based on android version 11 has some little bit of features but this is just a naked room you can say if you go here you does not see that any you have the option to hide these navigation bar pill yes you can hide from your magisk manager by using a module but right now does not include any features so from 
my device or my preferences if you want to try out this build you can try out in the terms of performance and smoothness but other thing else it's finally it's not good it's really not good even you does not get any extra things here so these were my honest opinions about this build if you want to install this build the link for this build is in the description you can go and install this thing or you can use some other cool kind of rooms called octavi os and some cf base room is also available for redmi note 8 this is all from today's video i hope you like it if you like it don't forget to like and share this video thanks for watching goodbye